Hi, welcome back to Spirit's Path. This is Dee. Today's tarot card of the day out of the Wildwood Tarot deck is the Mirror. And this is card number 12. And uh, yesterday we talked about, you know, the threes that are out there. You had the three of arrows. The jealousy came up twice in the last six days. Three of bows. Fulfillment. And now you've got card number 12. And you're thinking, well, what does 12 got to do with it? Well, four threes make 12 for one. And if you add the one and two together, that equals three. So I see a, a, a line of threes here. All right. And usually threes, as I said yesterday, about pulling together, um, depending on how many cards are out there. Um, you know, if I want to look at this and say four, you know, that's that's people coming together to help you out with stuff. Okay. Whatever it is, uh, relationships, projects, however you want to look at it. Um, you know, yesterday we talked about a different a different way of looking at that, that three of arrows, that jealousy. And uh, with that being heartbroken. And then the mirror comes up. Okay, so I know with myself, um, I look in the mirror every day. Not just to see, you know, my face, but to look into my eyes. And to try to see my soul. A lot of times I get to see it. All right. Yesterday's card was talking about heartbreak. And today's card is to look into that mirror. And it's... You never want to hurt somebody with heartbreak, okay? You never want to be heartbroken with the loss of life or with the loss of job or anything else. Um, but if you can look in the mirror, and let's say you've made a decision on a career, or you've made a decision to leave a relationship, or you've made a decision to leave a social setting, and let's say that's guided by the universe and guided by spirit, and, guided, and you're listening to your intuition, okay? And you can look in that mirror and say, you know what? I made the right decision. You've surrendered yourself to what's out there. Okay? And, yeah, there's pain or wound that may be here, you know, to get to the other side, to that island that's over there. But at the same time, you're growing. You're looking within. You're saying to yourself, you know what? It's time for me to move. And that's what I've seen here the last couple weeks. There's a lot of change coming coming at you, okay? And maybe you express that change to somebody and they didn't understand it, okay? And maybe there's some heartbreak going on. Maybe, you know, I don't know what's going on. But if you can, you know, if you can look in the mirror and say, you know what, I know I'm making the right decisions. Intuition is guiding me. Synchronicity is picking up. You can be at peace with that. And you can be in harmony with the decision that you're making and your energy level is picking up because of that decision. It's all a good thing. You learn that valuable insight when you look into the mirror. When you look in and look into your soul and see what's going on. The biggest thing with that is just to be patient and trust in the system of what's happening. Trust that spirit's got your got your back on stuff. Trust that, you know, your intuition is leading you in the right direction. Most people don't listen to their intuition. Most people, they're followers. They just continue to follow the crowd, you know. But those that do follow their intuition, those that do listen to spirit, those that do listen to their guides, okay, understand that, you know what, if I can look into the mirror and look into my soul and I know I've made the right decision, then that's what this card is all about. It's looking deep within to ask spirit to guide you literally. It's looking into that mirror and looking into your eyes and looking into your soul and say, you know what? Guide me to make the right choice. And you know what I'm talking about because if you've made a wrong choice, your anxiety is going to pick up. You might start hyperventilating. Okay. You might start questioning things. But if you made the right choice, you don't have those butterflies. You know, if you do, that's exciting butterflies, okay? But you just know. You know if the decision is right and moving forward. You know it's aligned with spirit. You know it's aligned with the universe. All right? And you, when you learn that valuable lesson, and that includes looking at your insights, the dreams, the visions, don't force that issue. Just let it come naturally. You know, let it come from your soul as you're looking into the mirror and coming back at you. And let your spirit discern what's going on. That's when healing can begin. When you come to, you know, resolve those issues within your own soul. 
all right, and get on your spiritual path. I'm not saying that you're not on it, all right, and I'm not saying that you are on it. What I'm saying is, you know, as you continue to walk down it, you're going to have a lot of choices. And your intuition helps guide you during it, down that spiritual path. By looking within, you know, you can discern for yourself whether you're on the spiritual path or not. Even the soul contracts that you have, all right? You know if those are real or those are not real. And you know when they, when they start and you know when they end. Because you've discerned that within you. Um, and once you're healed, then intuition even takes off even faster. Things start happening quicker, quicker, quicker. Your dreams, your visions, your goals, you know, your ambitions and what you want to happen. Because now you're ready. You're ready to move forward to that next place on that DNA spiral as you're walking up. That circle theory that I've talked about in the past. So let that journey begin and awaken to a new awareness and energy that is that's ready to deal with the world and its challenges. All right? Get over the heartbreak when you're looking in that mirror. Nobody likes to hurt anybody. But when you can resolve those differences and when people start understanding where you're coming from, that heartbreak turns into support and love. And that's what you want. You want people to love you on your journey. You want people to support you on your journey. All right? Not, it's, it's, it's selfish to have people say, you know what, I want you to stay here because we're miserable. All right? That's not what people want. People want you to be happy. They want to see you fulfilled, that three of bows, that fulfillment. You know, if you're looking into that mirror and you're saying, what's going to fulfill me? Make the choice. Make the decision. Move forward. The wheel's telling you you've got the opportunity that changes at hand, that you can control your destiny, you know, and live out the fate that, you know, has been, been out there for you. You've got the energy of the sun of life propelling you forward. Abundant energy, like a nuclear reactor. Energy that's endless to help you on your, on your spiritual quest to help you, you know, in making that movement. You go back to that three of arrows again. This time it's, it is jealousy. Those that see you making movements, those that want to, you know, look at you and understand and say to yourself, you know, if this is truly what you want to do, yeah, we're going to let you do it. They may be jealous of you, but guess what? When they're jealous of you, they're putting blessings upon you. You know, and that's going to help with the fulfillment. That's going to help with looking into that mirror and saying, you know what? This is right. This is my destiny. This is what I need to do. And then you've got that ten of stones at home. Some place you know you can always lay your head. Home could be, you know, in the most extravagant mansion. Home could also be sitting on a, you know, on a beach. It's where you feel comfortable. Home could be looking in within that mirror looking into your soul and finding your, uh, your temple. Knowing that, you know what, when I go to my temple and I see my masters and my, and my guides, they're there to protect me. They're there to give me the guidance. They're there to give me you know, advice on how to move forward. Maybe they let you read the Akashic records, all right? Because there's so much peace and contentment in your spiritual temple that that could be another home for you, where you go, where you meditate to. You know, we didn't talk about that when that card's coming up. But if you can look into your soul and you can meditate on that and get to your spiritual home, your spiritual temple, and be, you know, be at peace, be at harmony, be at balance with what's going on, you're going to be fulfilled. And that's why that three of bows is there, that fulfillment. And it's not, it's just not about the choices that you made. It's about that balance, the balance that you have moving forward. So that's today's message on the mirror. Um, you know, leave your comments down below. I'd like to, you know, hear what you have to say. Subscribe to the channel. I like it. You know, hit that thumbs up for me. And, uh, you know, leave some comments down below, like I said. Share it with others if it resonates with you. And this is D for the Spirit's Path, and we'll talk to you tomorrow. Take care, God bless, and stay safe, everybody.